how to create a detailed budget. So you should position yourself on the DB or, or uh, detailed uh, budget sheet, and you will see uh, the detailed budget displayed. Now it's organized according to HR costs and by month. And you can see that uh, this is, as we are continuing, continuing with the uh, textbook case study, um, the, the case study in the text uh, occurs over three months. So the detailed budget will automatically show the three months of this project. Um, so it's organized by HR costs, first of all, and you can see all of the uh, work packages and activities automatically displayed. You don't have to put them in. Uh, and then there are other costs down here. We will get to those uh, a little later. So for each activity, Again, Gantup automatically places uh, the cost estimate that you uh, created on the CE sheet, automatically places it into the correct month according to the information that you entered in the uh, project schedule or PS sheet. So the good news is, is that a lot of the work for the HR costs uh, is already uh, performed for you. So you should be looking at this, inspecting to make sure that uh, everything looks correct. Okay, we just scroll down. Uh, if you didn't use all the work packages, uh, there'll be some blank rows here, that's okay. The monitor and control, uh, you will see that uh, in terms of, again, in the uh, appropriate months as to when they occur. And the close, finally, the close the project. And we can see the total HR cost. So again, all of this has been done uh, automatically for you. Now, there is some work that you need to do here, which is the other costs. Uh, Gantup does not know, uh, knows that there are other costs, the banner stands, cards, murals, and cameras and tripods. Those were identified in the cost estimates sheet. But um, Gantup, uh, can't go to the schedule and pick out which month they uh, will will occur in, when the expenses will occur. So that's something that you have to enter. And notice the status is red, indicating there is currently a problem with these four rows, okay? Um, so what you need to do is look at your schedule and determine when will the banner stands expense be incurred. Now, this will be $1,000, based on the schedule, the $1,000 uh, occurs in April. And you can see now that it balances to the total that was already there. By the way, these were already there. And now the status of banner stands is uh, green. Uh, now, for the holographic cards, we have $2,000. Now, it turns out that it also is in April. Actually, all of the expenses are in April. But just to show you how it could have occurred, for example, it, it could have been that you know, uh, 1,500 were in April. Now at this point, we're still red, see, because it's not balancing the 2,000. And then the other 500 in May, if, if that was the case. Now, again, it's not. Uh, according to our schedule, a lot of things happen in April in, in the uh, uh, product launch project. So I'll just continue to enter because everything's in April, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, again, I'd have to go. I just don't randomly put it in a month. I go to the project schedule and determine when it is planned to occur. Very important. Because then you can see the total of the other costs. You see the other costs, all 4,600 are planned to occur in April. And then we see our grand total line, which is uh, the total costs of both HR and other are 56,520. And that should, if everything has been done correctly and nothing's been missed, that should balance to the penny to the cost estimates. If we scroll down to the very bottom, we will see 56,520 as being the total project cost estimates. So we haven't lost anything. That's, that's important to, uh, to look for. Okay, you will notice there's a uh, another table down here for actual costs. You don't need to enter anything into there at this point. Uh, that will come a little later.
that's this has been your uh, explainer video thank you for watching